Hi and welcome to another video. This time let's talk about git. Specifically, let's talk about forcefully pushing to the repository. So here is a use case. Let's say you have a repository like this one I've created. And for some reason the mine branch is not protected. Someone forgot for example to set the rules and by mistakes you have pushed to the mine branch. So here I have the repository cloned and now let's go into it. Let's open readme. And inside here let's for example do a change. Now let's add this, let's commit and push. Now if we have a look at the repository we can see we have two commits. However this change wasn't going through pull request which could be our normal way of working. We open a pull request and then when it's approved we merge to the mine branch. In order to fix it I could revert this change. So let's take the hash of this commit, let's do git revert now let's save that over here. Now git push. And in the repository the changes are reverted. So if we have a look at readme, the change is not here. However, the history of commits now is polluted. Because we added this change over here and then we reverted it. And this history of reversion is in the git repository. So now if someone will come and read this history, then this will be quite polluted. Because there will be a change, there will be a revert of a change, and then there will be probably this change again when it goes through the normal pull request. In order to clean up this git history, we could use git push with force. We can reset the commit that was working or that was approved previously, like for example the initial commit in my case. Now in the terminal let's make sure that we are still on the mine branch. There we go, we are on mine. And now let's reset this mine branch to that last commit that we want to have in the repository. So we type git reset with the flag hard and we add the commit or the hash of the commit that we want to reset to. Here we go. Now we can see that the head is at this initial commit. However, if we try to push this change just by using git push, then you can see that the repository that GitHub in this case will not allow us to do it because we are behind the mine branch. So right now in order to be able to push we would have to first pull the changes. But that's not what we want to do. We want to overwrite what was there in the history before. Instead, if we use git push but with the flag force, here we go. This time we were able to push to this repository. And if we look back here, reload the page, we have only the initial commit. The two other commits were removed. Now, be very careful with this. Because if you will reset your branch on the local to some very old commit, you may erase the whole history of your changes and all the work that you've done in the last hours, days or maybe in the whole history of your repository. Finally, there are also two different options to forcefully push. First of all we have this git push force, but also there is git push force with lease. Now the difference between the two is that if you use force then it will overwrite whatever is there already on the branch. So in this way, if a colleague of yours would at the same time just before you forcefully push add some changes on top of the branch, they will also be removed. But if you will use force with ease, then this will not be removed now. This is not the only way that we can do by forcefully pushing to the repository. We can also literally override the history of the repository and do a lot of other changes over there. But that's a topic for another video. For today that's everything. If this will help you in any way, then please like this video, subscribe to my channel and for now I call you to death and I'll see you the next time. Bye bye.